Hello guys. My name is Desmond. And I welcome you to my lesson for today. Where we'll be looking at your mathematics. Obviously, as you can see over there, we'll be looking at trigonometry. So ladies and gentlemen, please do allow me to say it is very much important that I say it is very, very much important because good people, what I'm about to say, it's massively, 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 massively. Hey, massively important, ladies and gentlemen, that I say a day without learning something new, it's a day wasted. Free us, please. Please, 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 please. Coolie, coolie. Please do make sure that by the end of each and every lesson that I conduct, Tumza the Tumza, make sure that you learn something new. Wise men, very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen, over there. So now, obviously, as you can see over there, we'll be looking at question. Four. So I'm about to read the given statement over there, but I would like for someone to confirm if you are able to see over there. Is it not blurry? Can all of you guys be able to see over there? Yes, sir. Last one to confirm. Yes, sir. Okay, 100%. In that case, I'm just going to quickly read through the given statement. So, question 4, 4.1, it says in the diagram below, A, B, C, A, C, D, and A, D, E are right angled triangle very very much important ladies and gentlemen over there b angle a e is equals to 90 degrees in triangle b a c angle a it's equals to 30 degrees b c it's equals to 20 units and a d is equals to 60 units guys were you all able to hear all that um a uh, all that i said i was reading that statement did you all get that yes sir okay 100 percent. i just want to um quickly show you guys something over there before i do that here comes a question how many triangles can you guys see over there remember in case if you want to answer just mention your name and i will recognize you honorable member Dumza, go for it. Uh, four. Uh, Dumza is seeing four triangles. Uh, another one, the last one, how many triangles are you seeing there? Kulahano. How many? Kuli, kuli. So I'm seeing three. Kuli seeing three. Okay. Uh, Kuli Kuli, what triangles are you seeing there in terms of letters? So I'm seeing uh, triangle A, B, C. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing triangle A, C, D. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, I'm seeing triangle A, D, E. Tumza uh, the Tumza. Kulumanam in Tombo, Kulumanam in Tombo, Utubona, a easy triangle is in Gagana. Maskulu. Ah, sir. 
A B C A C D Yibu A T E Yibu E A B E A B Yay Doomza the Doomza. Okay, let's have a look at that one. Everything else is correct. This is a, a triangle, a triangle, a triangle. But now remember, a triangle has three sides and three angles. Very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen, over there. So when we look at E being that one, A being that one. The moment you start saying B, it means you are creating another triangle which is not there. So you are joining a A, there is B, this is A, this is B, and then you have E a, being there. So now, can you see, Dumza? You are now creating an additional triangle which is not there. Can you see, Dumza? Can you confirm for me? Uh, so you can see that it's actually three triangles. Ne? Yes. Okay, 100%. So remember, guys, a, a triangle, three sides, three angles. Very, very much important. So now, let's see. In the statement, they have given to say in the triangle, no, no, in the diagram below, A, B, C, where's A, B? There's A, B, C, okay? A, A, C, D, A, C, D, A, and A, D, E, A, D, E. They say these are the right angled triangle. For those of you guys who have been attending uh, my lesson since the start of trigonometry, do you guys still remember what does it mean to us when they say we have a right angled triangle? Three years. Uh, what does it mean? Do you want to tell us what does it mean when they say we have a right angle, the triangle? I'm not sure. Uh, another one to give it a try. Clown. Go for it, Kuli. Sir, it means, okay. Partly it means we have three sides and three angles, like you said, but it also means we can use the three ratios and we can use Pythagoras. 100%. So... Ladies and gentlemen, always, 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 when you are given a right angled triangle, that means you can use the three ratios being sine, cos, tan, and most importantly, theorem of Pythagoras. So always, when you are, you are dealing with a right angle, the triangle, you can use these things. If it is not a right angle, the triangle, it means you cannot use the trig ratios. But in this case, they did specify to say we have three triangles and all of them are right angled triangle and most importantly guys most importantly this is a sign that shows you that you have a right angled triangle so remember guys this angle is actually 90 degrees tombs are the tombs i want you guys to be aware why the tombs are think we are having four triangles over there. So that's how examiner tries to be tricky, guys. Uh, so Tumza, uh, I'm assuming she saw that knowing that this is a 90 degree, which could possibly mean this is for triangle one, for triangle two, for triangle three, for triangle four. So it seems as if we've got four triangles. But remember, you can still have something similar to this. It doesn't mean this is a right angled triangle. It is not a triangle in the first place because it only has one, two sides. But the moment we connect, then it's a triangle, which is a right angled triangle. So just be careful of that. 
ladies and gentlemen. So I think now the last thing that I need you guys to be aware of is that when something is written like this, B-A-E, and they do that small anyana cap over there, Shravan, this thing, it means in triangle B, A, and E. Then you say, where is this triangle? There is B, there is A. No, no, A, it had to be B over, no, no, C. So if something is written a, like this, it means in triangle A, B, and C. Angle A is whatever the angle that is given. So I think there, let me just follow a, exactly the same way they followed on that statement. So they firstly started with B, A angle, A over there, and then they had C, and they said this is equals to 90 degrees over there. So I want to explain something to you guys. Milano, 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 Milano. Welcome to my lesson. So if something is written as B, A, and E, because it's three letters, that means it's a triangle. Because of that small onion I kept over there, it simply means when considering these corners, corner B, corner A, corner E, where are they? There is corner B, there is corner A, there is corner a, what is it, corner C? No, no, a corner E. So that means we're actually looking at this corner, that corner, and that corner, which is this one. A, B, A, E. So it simply means the angle that we're looking for is angle A in these three corners. So that angle is actually 90 degrees. Another one, they say in B, A, and C, angle A is equals to 30 degrees. Where is B? There is B. Where is A? A is up there. Where is C? C is there. So that means there we are having A, we are having B, we are having C. So this one, Obviously, it's a right-angled triangle. So now, they are saying in this triangle, angle A being this one, it's actually 30 degrees. That's how you interpret that information, ladies and gentlemen. So the moment they say BC is equals to 20 units, if something is written in capital letters and it's just two letters, that means they're talking about the length of BC. Where is B? There is B. Where is C? There is C. So that means from there to there is 20 units. Units, it could be 20 millimeters, 20 centimeters, 20 kilometers, 20 whatever. So in this case, it doesn't really matter whether it's millimeters, centimeters, um, meters, kilometers, or whatever. So we just measure in units. Okay, let's check. What are they saying? They are saying AD is equals to 60 units. So where is A? There is A. Where is D? There is D. So they are saying is 60 units, which means you are now able to notice that this is how they talk about the angle. And this is the manner in which they represent uh, the length or the side. Something which is very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen, I wish, Grace, I so wish you can never forget this. Remember, a triangle, it has three sides and three angles. I'm just talking about a triangle. Listen very carefully. A triangle. But the moment we talk about a right angled triangle, it still has two of these three sides, three angles. But 
what is special about a right angled triangle is because you can use the trig ratios cos sine tan and again a theorem of pythagoras but something that i want you to be careful of lerat always 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 when you are dealing with a right angled triangle for you to calculate either the side or the angle you must always have two things you can either have two angles or two sides in order for you to calculate the third unknown which could be an angle or the side very very much important ladies and gentlemen over there i think now we can try to answer the questions but before i do that is there someone who's got a question in relation to that mini revision over there anyone with a question no sir last one to confirm no, Eh uh, Lisa Lisa kwa baba are we doing good at that side Yes you are thank you So eh yeah, uh, no questions from your side No I'm all good 100% so I'm just going to remove all of this and then from there eh uh, we are now going to be answering our questions So the first question being 4.1.1 ladies and gentlemen it is very 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 much important that you follow the numbering system used in the question paper very very much important ladies and gentlemen if it's 4.1.1 write it as 4.1.1 eh uh, here the question says calculate the length of ac and this question is allocated to max so now this is what i would do uh, in exam examiner wants me to calculate the length of ac okay so now uh, since they said this are right angled triangle my question would be which triangle has two things what are those two things it could be an angle and a side it could be a side and a side it could be a let's say a what is it what does let me just write it in terms of the letters there it could be a side and a side it could be a, a side and an angle so i just need two things in order to be able to calculate the other side so here comes a question which triangle has enough information for us to calculate the other side anyone it's a triangle abc triangle abc let's see oh yes we have 20 there and we still have an angle there being 30 degrees but now which trick ratio will be suitable in this case the sine its side okay let's see a sine of angle a will be equals to we know that sine is equals to opposite over adjacent so in this case what is the opposite it's obviously bc over what is hypotenuse hypotenuse is ac very very much important ladies and gentlemen over there so now let's substitute uh, when we substitute we have got sin what is angle a is it not 30 degrees yes it's equals to what is bc bc we know is 20 we are actually looking for ac then you cross multiply here you cross multiply then you have ac a uh, what is it sin of 30 degrees being equals to 20 but remember ac is what i'm looking for so let me just divide by that sin 30 remember whatever you do on the left you also do on the right so that this cancels that cancels and then you have your ac being equals to 
whatever. Uh, let's see. What is AC, guys? What are you guys getting? 40 units. Uh, what, what did you say? Did you say 14 units or 14? 14. 40. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, 40 uh, units. 100%. So it's 40 units. Make sure to mention that if this 20 was in tra- was in millimeters, say 20 millimeters, I mean 40 millimeters, meters, 40 meters, uh, centimeters, 40. Hey, you get it? Three years. If you don't get it, forget about it. Forget about it. Okay, so now let's move to question. Um, 4.1.2. What does question 4.1.2 say? Can someone quickly read it for us over there? So it says, um, oh, it says size of CAD. Size of CAD. Yes, sir. Hey, no, there's no, there's no such. Who's speaking there? Who's speaking? Uh, on a point of order, honorable member. Who's speaking there? Kulahana, <laughs> sir. Nye, 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 nye. Kuli, kuli, we don't have such a thing, honorable member. Can you withdraw that? Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, this is angle A in triangle C A D. Did you get it, Kuli Kuli? Yes, sir. Yeah, so a uh, this Malayana cap it is very very much important. It means angle A in triangle. C A D. Then it means you know already that um, in triangle A, C and D. Then you can just uh, summar draw that triangle. This is A. This is C. This is D. Whereby they want you to calculate angle A. That is why it's written in the middle. Whereby AD, as you can see over there, is equals to 60 units. Does it make sense to everyone? Lisa Gwababa, you get it. Lebo uh, Hamulu. Lisa, did you say you're not getting that one? Okay. Uh, let me try to explain for the last time. Remind me, uh, Lisa, in which grade are you again? I'm in grade 12. Okay. Uh, then I will know how to explain. So, uh, I've got different explanations to different learners in different grades. So, for you, because you are in grade um, 12, let's say this. The question says the size of if something is written like this, can you see? It's three letters, which means they are talking about three corners. Where are those three corners? Where is corner C, uh, Lisa? Can you see? There is corner C. Where is corner A? There is corner A. Where is corner D? There is corner D. So can you see? I drew it there. There is corner A, corner A, C, corner D. Can you see it, um, Lisa? So, can you see that sign over there, which shows that uh, shows that this is a right angled triangle? Can you see that one, Lisa? Lisa. Yes, yeah, Bo. Let's see. So now, uh, if this thing is written in that manner, uh, if it has that capisana there. It means they want you to calculate 
the size of the angle. So here comes the question, the angle for which triangle? The angle for triangle CAD. I'm not sure if um, you are now getting it, uh, uh, the listeners. Why, why taller man? We are Kuluma, Vulela, Vula Vula Wamba. I'm Kosa. Kosa. Okay. All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, is there someone uh, who'd like to ask a question before I answer that one? Or is there someone who wants to give it a try? Remember, Lisa. Um, a warm welcome to my lesson. Remember to mute your mic, uh, listen after every comment so that um, we don't get disturbed by the background noise. So there should be a button somewhere you can click to mute your mic. So um, what did I want to say? I wanted to say I welcome the correct and the wrong answers. I get very much excited when you guys give me the, the wrong relevant answers because they help me to explain even better but if you don't give it a try i'll just assume it's not that much complicated and i'll just straight away give you the answer uh, it would be best to just uh, go around and explain because you need more explanation than uh, the answers because the answers they are there in the memo we can just copy and paste but what you guys need is the explanation is the interpretation um you need all the info so hey is there someone who wants to give it a try guys may i try yes Lerato, uboku, ubogu, ubongeko for his cat is it. Quenzen, Quenzen, Tombi. Sir, the network is troubling me. Oh, what travel I network? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, go for it. What are we doing there, um, uh, Lerato? Saying about goods, you must use cost theta. Then it's going to what? be cost. But why a uh, cost theta? Why why cost? So because in triangle ACD we have AC the that then AC and we have AD. No, but where is AC coming from? Where where is AC? We don't have AC there. We do have, sir. We just calculated it. Oh, yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, that means it is very, very much important that as soon as we calculate some, we write it over there. Now she's making a perfect sense. So, she says we've got that side being A, A, C. Oh, yeah, no, I see. Now I see the reason why she's saying we need to use cos of angle. Because cos of angle is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. So that means a uh, cos of angle A is actually equals to that side being AC over uh, AD. So good people, um, in case if you missed my lessons, just make sure to catch up because those lessons are recorded and posted on my YouTube channel. Make sure that you catch up where I take you through an introduction to trigonometry where I explain in detail how do you know the trig ratio of cos, tan, and sine. And most importantly, guys, the reciprocals or the inverse of those trig ratios being cosec, sec, and cot. So now... Let's substitute. But remember, guys, remember, we are calculating for an angle, which means in the end, you must have an answer which is in degrees. The moment you have an answer in units, just know that you are wrong. The moment you have an answer uh, which doesn't have a unit, just know that you are wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you fully understand what is the cream of the question. What is the cream of the question? The cream of the question tells you exactly 
what you must provide as part of your final answer. Very, very much. So now let's see. Cos of angle A is equals. What is A? AC is calculated to be 40. What is that? That is, uh, is calculated to be 60. So remember, you now want to calculate the angle. So that means you must remove that cos. How do you remove a cos? Always, if it's a cos, a sun, and a tan, you remove it by that thing of whatever the trick ratio that you're dealing with. Uh, Lerato, can, can, can you tell them about um, their calculator in terms of the mode? So the calculator must always be in a degree mode. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, your calculator must at all times be on the degree mode. So what are you guys getting there uh, when you punch that? It's 48,19. Uh, what is it? 48,19 degrees. 48,19 degrees. Do you guys agree with that answer? Yes, sir. Um... So now it means you've got 48,19 degrees. Very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen, that you write that degrees. It is very, very... So now uh, let's write that angle there. So remember, guys, remember, this angle is for which triangle. Let's be careful of that. Uh, it's for the middle triangle, which means... Um, this angle here is actually 48,19 degrees. There you had 30 degrees. Very, very much important, ladies. Very, very much important. Very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen, that you are able to interpret the information that you are given and also you are able to interpret all that you are calculating. So now I think we can try to move to the next question. What is the next question saying? Uh, can someone quickly, quickly, quickly read for us the next question? Calculate the length of DE. Uh, what is it saying? Calculate the length of DE. Length of a DE. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where is D? Where is E? There is D. There is E. Yay. Ongati is ovana is in kiinga lap. Sizwe yenza nga njani le ndi, zwe tlasuru la nga njani le ndawa e pagiti. Trias, do you have an idea there? Who's, who's speaking? It's a rato, sir. Uh, okay. Le rato, I know we've communicated. Uh, just hold on. Let me check if maybe there's someone who also wants to give it a try. Um, le le bohang. Lungsta Ntumedish Makogze Kunjani Lab Lisa Afunu Kulumanam Nisho Ranjani Estrosa Uguti. <laughs> no. Hey, Lisa. How far no Well, the idea I had was wrong after you said that thing, so it's not gonna work. Hey, Lisa is breaking, but uh, I'm getting the vibe that you're saying you wanted to try a uh, this thing, uh, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, just try this thing. What can you say about this thing? Hmm. 
ungaithi ni lenda bale. Three marks. Lisa, can 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 I can I guide you on how to answer this question? Yes, please. Okay, so this is you in exam, and you 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 are given this question. This is what you must remember. You must remember me saying, "Hello, guys. My name is Desmond." and i welcome you to my lesson for today where we we'll be looking at whatever 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 ladies and gentlemen if you remember i said when you are dealing with a right angle the triangle it means you can use cos sine and tan and most importantly theorem of pythagoras and also if you are dealing with a right angled triangle which has three sides three angles in case if they want you to calculate some you must be having two knowns or you must know two things in order to calculate the third unknown very very much important so now de lisa is is in which triangle it is in triangle ade 100% it's in triangle ade let's draw it this is how uh, we can draw that having a right angled whatever there so lisa eh, it's just me and you who will be speaking so now eh, let's see what do we know about triangle a e d eh, do we know all the three sides do we know all the angles or what do we know a eh, lisa the lisa you know it's a, it's a right angle triangle yes to 60 units yes we know that is equals to 60 a uh, units uh, but remember uh, even though this is a third known factor but when i say two known to calculate the third unknown ignore that because that one let's say it only tells us that this is a right angled triangle so for you lisa to be able to calculate this side it means you must know either this side and that side or you must be having that side and another angle so lisa a uh, normally in exam they like to question you such that for you to continue to other questions you must use your previous calculations do you still remember lisa that we actually calculated that and then after we calculated that no no this one it was given but we calculated that angle do you still remember uh, lisa yes i do yeah so now let's try to include this part of a uh, that diagram so we obviously have this triangle what is that angle we know this angle is 30 degrees and if you remember let me do this so that i've got enough space uh, let me do this lisa uh, let's see let's see let's see i think i'll need to redraw that uh, such that i include both the triangle so we have that and we also have let's say that uh, i'm not sure if i've drawn it nicely now lisa do you agree with me there um, I can see. Yes. yeah so we have this angle being 30 we also have this angle being 48 comma 19 degrees we also know the total angle what is this angle a uh, uh, lisa do you know do you have an idea of what is this angle
You can just guess if you don't know a Lisa. It's fine. You can just guess. Mm -hmm. Million. Oh, no, sorry. I thought you said a uh, 20 million. Okay. So, Lisa the Lisa. Always, when you see this sign, just know it's 90 degrees. Name. Yes, yeah, so that means this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, also that it is 90 degree. So can you see, Lisa, uh, all these two angles are inside that 90 degree. So that means we can actually somehow try to find this angle. We are going to say uh, this angle in triangle A. D E. So this is how you write it. You say in triangle D, you make sure that A is in the middle, and then you say E. So this is actually going to be equals to that 90, the Lisa, being 90 degrees, then you minus this and you also minus that. So that means it's minus 30 degrees, minus what was that? 48.19 degrees. Then the answer that you get. It's actually this angle there. Uh, let's see, that side was 60 uh, units. Uh, I'm not sure, Lisa. Am, am I confusing you there? No, I'm, I'm getting it. Oh, 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 we are taller, man. We are taller, man. Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's talk, uh, Lisa. What is this? What is 90? I need to oinko muntu ba ba. Hey, what is to keep quiet in Kosa? What is to keep quiet in Kosa, eh, Lisa? Uh, yes, in Funa Muti, I'm eating Buzilo, Guti Ubani, Afuna, a eh, Ugui try. Born give to Lil, I eat. Yes. Yeah, mas, Masiba Yege, a eh, Batu Lile, Basus Kale Lamina now is Kulum. Manje, a eh, Gwenzagala Nilapo, a eh, Lisa. Nothing. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Aguenza Gali Luto Lisa. Mauti no. ninety minus thirty min minus forty five a point one nine. Aguenza Gala and Lisa. I got eleven comma eighty one. Yes, eleven comma eighty one. Remember degrees. Nay, why degrees? Because it's an angle. Very, very much important. Lisa, the Lisa. That. As we say, Tata Linda, Wunga Katazeg, Lisa. Wunga Katazeg. That means there is 11, comma, what is it? 81 degrees. Okay, tell me again. Lisa. A which trig ratio sine cos tan can we use a, to find that side? Uh. <laughs> I you, you just um. guess. I need to I need to about to little lavandula. You can just guess, Lisa. Even if you say we use trigonometric a uh, President Mandela, uh, you can just say it. I need to lavandula never to little. Mm. Um, 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 can you use that one that mm. um adjacent over opposite I think. adjacent and opposite okay so which trick ratio is that one I am not sure how I guess no my uh, so just choose between a uh, let me see i think i want to remove something okay no, it's fine i'll create some space so a um, tan cos a uh, sign which one tan okay a uh, let me remove that let me remove that part of the question then i'll just try to squeeze it there so 
it's going to be tan of angle which angle is it going to be angle a yes it's going to be angle a isn't it a which one is opposite in terms of letters a uh, the lisa um oh, no. oh, opposite is going to be d e okay opposite is going to be d e over a uh, a d eh? yes a uh, over that okay so let's see we are having turn of 11 point eight one degrees being equal what is de 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 -E. uh, or oh, de is actually what we're, we're, we're trying to calculate so it's going to be de over uh, that being 60 then you cross multiply meaning you have 60 a uh, turn of one one point eight one uh, degrees being equals to de so what will be the value of de um, one minute. Uh, let's see 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 uh, i got something i got something Ulisa Ubalegi Lemanj. Uh, so my calculator is very slow. Hey, Lungsta. Okay. Okay, what are you getting there, Lisa? Um, 12. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I made a mistake. Hey, Angsa Mutemba, lo. Ay, 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 ay. Lebo hang, we are more than a long time ago to end the animal. Lebza, ah, kulu, makulu, 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 makulu. Makogzi. I'm bored, I say. Ay, young September, low moon to low. Hey, Makogzi. Yasbi, a Bessienza got a lento. Manje, Uti, I bo. Nienzi, nienzi mistake. Uh, Lisa, hey, hey, why is it like I'm also getting some wrong answers there? Guys, what are you getting there? Comma five four. What is it? Twelve comma five four. Ay 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 ay. Five, five, hey, Lerato. Yes, sir. We are the uh, so guys when, 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 when uh, these guys. Uh, someone said twelve comma five four. Who who said that? Yes, yeah, sir. Lerato. And then who said comma five five? It's to me, let's say. Eh, Tumza, you know when, 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 okay, obviously units there. So when you get to tertiary, um, and you're studying uh, structures or whatever, Guys, this decimal is very, very much important. With you saying 12,54. Because of this, you can collapse a building. Make sure to round off to the nearest whatever, guys. Uh, Lerato and Shriyas, be careful of that. Uh, if this number is bigger than 4, round it off. Uh, so that we don't collapse a building. Very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen. Lisa, are you happy there? Yes. Yeah, I should so have got the same answer from the you got You got the same answer, now. Yes, sir. Okay, 100%. So, guys, uh, is there anyone who's got a question over there, or can we confidently move to question 4.2?
So no question. No question from Shuyas. Haibo Lungsta. Aufunun kulumi sanam tlanje. Kwen zinjan. Makogzin. Na u aufunun kulumi sanam tlanje. Haibo. E, tabiso sosibo. Tabiso sosibo. How is it going there, honorable member? Ah, it's fine. It's fine over here. Eh, hi. Naminka, tuya kulu mane. So, Sibu, I think he forgot to unmute his mic. Lungsta and Kogza. Hi. Guys, alim bulis elap. Alim bulis. Alim bulis elap. Or maybe these guys are watching generations, ne? Don't you think they're watching Skim Sam there, guys? I'm suspecting uh, they're busy watching Skim Sam there. I think I need another. So you guys say we can confidently move to the next question, ne? Yes, sir. 100%. So now it says a uh, solve for x. Very, very much important. Correct to one decimal place where a uh, what is it? Where you have x being between a uh, zero and 90 degrees remember guys if something is written like this whatever that is in the middle it's more like we are saying whereby x is between zero and 90 that's how you interpret it very very careful uh, be very very careful of that ladies and so now let's see um the first Question being 4.2.1. Remember, follow the numbering system used in the question paper. You have tan x being equals to 2,01. Just make sure that everything that I'm writing there, I write it correctly. Very, very much important. So this question is allocated to max. Remember, guys, what we need to do is to solve for x, which means in the end or as part of our final answer, we should say x is equals to whatever as our final answer. Uh, so, guys, uh, is there someone who wants to try? How can we solve for x? Doesn't matter whether it's wrong or correct. As long as we can say something. Very, very much important. Uh, Lerato noted. Anyone again? Tumza, Tumza noted. But guys, L Lungsta and Kogza, I wish these two can greet me. Guys, eh, Kogza, Kunjani Lap. Pungwai. Pungu Pungu. Hey. Okay, um, Tumza, just explain, don't answer, just explain how can you possibly approach that question. Explain, sir. And can I say, like, you have to meet X in the subject of the formula. So, turn that side. So, I could explain or keep the answer. I think I'm giving an answer, so. Yes, okay. No, it's fine. I I got the point. So, the reason I said that, uh, Tumza, is because um, it's not only about you guys being able to give an answer. 
uh, in three, four to five years to come, you guys will be done with your metrics and you'll have to explain this thing to uh, your siblings. So what Umsa is saying is that we need to isolate that um, X. So we just need to remove this tongue. How do you remove a tongue? If it's a trick ratio, be it cause, sign, or whatever, uh, you need to uh, remove it. Obviously, you would divide by turn, and then whatever that you do on the left, you do on the on the right. But with a trick ratio, you cannot divide like uh, divided by turn so that it cancels. You do it as uh, you guys call it act turn, I think. So you do the second function of turn. A two comma zero one, and then you get an answer. What are you getting there as your answer? It's sixty three comma Are you all getting the same answer? What is it? You got sixty three comma five four a a a a is decrease decrease are you, are you guys getting the same thing yes, hmm? but this is wrong guys uh, can, can someone explain why is this wrong because it is rounded off to one decimal place what is the correct answer? 63,5 degrees. 63,5 degrees. So that's why you get one mark there and also a mark there. Tumza, uh, make sense. Oh, yeah, I see. Well, I want to examine now over tricky sometimes. Hmm. Next thing or to two decimal places, you see. Next thing or to one decimal places. So, oh, no, I want to examine how about the lack of rain at the moment. Yes. So, good people, you need to be very, very careful of the instructions given. Be very. So, now 4.2.2. Uh, this is what we have. We have 5 cos of ax plus 2 being equal to 2, 4. And this question is allocated um, 3 max. Um, is there anyone who also wants to give it a try, this one? Rato Tumelo. Rato uh, Tumelo, another one who wants to give it a try. Grace, our room, ladies. My God will make a way. Uh, Gracie, Gracie, Gracie. Gracie, yes, I... sure. I'm not sure if Grace um, is getting all the information because I know she struggles a lot with a uh, network. Grace, uh, I'm failing to Sir. hear you, but but can you just uh, tell me if you are able to hear everything that we are saying? I can hear you, but not here. The network is bad this side. Okay, but it's fine. Uh, the lesson is being recorded. As soon as we are done, uh, I'm going to uh, share the link. Tabiso, Singakuluma, Singakuluma, then. Yes. Uh, in, in which grade are you again, uh, Tavis? Grade 10. Oh, grade 10. 
uh, I think I will, I will still need to cook you as time goes on, um, Tabiso. But anyway, welcome to my lesson. Can, can, can I guide you on how to answer that one? Hey. Eh, Tabiso, usase kona la. Yes, I'm still here. Okay. Uh, so, are you saying you don't have an idea of how to approach this one? I think you need to transpose the two. Okay. So, that means we are having a 5 cos x being equals to obviously there's four already then you just transpose that it changes a sign do you agree yes okay so that means we are actually having this uh, then what is the next step from here uh, uh, Tavis? divide by five but why do we divide by five uh, Tavis? Ish. I was. Yes. Okay. So it's because we want to remove it. So the reason we divide by five is because we want to remove it. Nay. So that uh, we remain with cos x being equals to two over five. Uh, can you see there, uh, Tavis? Yes. So. Okay, so now, how can we get to X? Yes. Hey! Uh, Tabiso, how, how do we... Uh, uh, we must transpose the mm -hmm. cos. Then what am I writing? Cos to the power negative one. Mm -hmm. Open open brackets two over five. Mm -hmm. Then what is the answer? It's sixty six comma four to one. Sixty six comma four two one is is this the, the final yes. answer do we still continue we must run off meaning we are having sixty six comma four Decrease, nay. Remember that decrease, nay. Yes, sir. Hundred percent, guys. Do do you agree uh, with a uh, tabi so there? Do you trust a a a a a a Do you trust him, guys? Do you think he's leading us to the greener pasture there? Yes, sir. Tabiso, it seems like everyone agrees with your final answer. So that means you will get three marks for that. Uh, are we all happy there? Can we now move to the last question? Yes, sir, we can move. Yes, sir, we can move. Okay. 100%. So now I will just uh, remove all of this. I'll remove all of this. 
uh, I wonder if there's someone who's going to get this one correct. It's equals to uh, three. And this one is allocated three marks as well. Is there someone who wants to give it a try? Uh, Tabiso, remember to mute your mic um, in case if you don't have a question or a comment. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let... Kolahan, are you still there? Kuli Kuli. Haibo, my daughter. Shriyas, are, are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Uh, Shriyas is still there. Let's see. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Lerato, go for it. So we, I think we must divide by two on both sides. Multiply, I mean, on both sides. Okay, side. okay. Then what are we having? Uh, let's see, cosec x is equals to, or you say that times that being six. No, that's what you're saying, isn't it? Yes, sir. Since okay. say, our tick ratio is a reciprocal, we'll make six the reciprocal. So we will do, we will look for a reciprocal of six, which is going to be one over six. So the reciprocal, okay. So that means obviously this is over invisible one. So you're saying we're going to make it like that. Yes. As one over that. Okay. Yes. Mm hmm. What we do on the left hand side, we do on the right hand side. So since we have the reciprocal of six, then we will have to have the reciprocal of cosec, which is going to be sine. So we are having sine x equals one over six. Sine x is equal to one over six. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. then we will isolate x by doing shift sine. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. One over six. Mm -hmm. Yes, so then we will have x equal to nine comma six when we've rounded off. I Lerat, I don't trust you. Yeah. I don't <laughs> trust you. Uh, Dumza, let let's try to redo it and check if we're going to find the same answer. This one I don't trust. It. I'm telling you. A, what was it? It's cosec x over a two is it? Dumza, was that a corner lap? Yes, sir, but then eh, we're similar. Serious? Uh, Namaraste, I said, um, um, yeah, cosec, so I you multiply by two. Mm -hmm. Then you have a cosec x. Is equal mm -hmm. to six. Then like cosec a, cosec is cos like is one over x. Yeah, one over sine x. Mm -hmm. It's equal to six. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, basically, like mm, from there, it's a little hard. That six to you, you, it's over one. Mm -hmm. So then you cross multiply. That by that is one. That by that, uh, what is it? It's equals to six sine of x. Mm -hmm. Sine x. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, Tabis, can you see? We divide by six. Why by six? Because we want it to cancel. 
then whatever that you do on the left, you do on the right. So it's more like you have sine x being equals to um, 1 over 6. And then you do that being a that, that, and that. Therefore, that is equals to a... What did you say, Lerat? What's that answer again? 9,6. 9,6 degrees. Which means um, whatever that Lerato did is 100% um, correct. The only difference is the procedure. So the reason why I wanted Tumza to redo it, um, uh, Lerato, is because in your case, you took a very smart uh, shortcut. So with that shortcut, it's not everyone who could understand um, that shortcut, especially that they just see you having one over six, not knowing where one uh, it would be coming from. But in case if you explain it to someone who doesn't understand what you did, Lerat, go for this uh, way. So is there someone who's got a question based on that or did it make sense to everyone? <laughs> you wonder what? Let me check something for you guys. I think maybe uh, I might get something uh, for you. There is a, a toothpick for a, a for the rat. There is a toothpick for a tumza. Hey, angna luto bagi, angna luto. Uh, this is all that I got. I'm not sure. Are you are you appreciating, or are you just going to love the? Lerat, oya ijabule la lendo le ang ang na luto ang azukting na linigeza la i. Dumza. Ah, giza mi. Ah. <laughs> you guys, hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Lisa, we have as well, we are, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy as much as I did. I thank you very much for joining. My name is Desmond. You guys have a very good night. And I'm out. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.